the leadership of the military. A sad day for the country indeed. I now want to cross over to my colleague Ken Mijungu who has more details on that crash. Ken, to you. Thanks, Ashley. And of course, everyone may be wondering what type of military aircraft was involved in this accident that took 10 of our very best. Well, let's take a look at that aircraft because we have more details on it. Now, it's called the Bell UH-1 Iroquois, or they call it Hughes. That is the other term. It's a nickname that, they, that the aircraft got from the US Army. I'll be telling you more about that because they are primary users of this aircraft apart from Kenyans. And this is the United States Army that has used this aircraft over time. I'll be telling you also the year that it first went into operation. The Australian Army have also used the same aircraft. Vietnam War, it was used lightly. And Japan Ground Self-Defense Forces also use the same aircraft. Now, let's take a look at the next slide. And you'll be wondering, it's been around for a long time. Well, it went into production in the year 19. 56 to 1986. So far, the same aircraft, UH-1, are 16,000 that have been produced. Assuming that this is the only one that got into an accident, that it means there are about 15,999 of them still out there. So the number built between 1956 when they first went into or to fly is uh, 16,000, 1956 to 1987. Let's take a look at uh, the other slide now. On the same same aircraft, the production years was between 1956 and 1987, as we said. The carrying capacity is 13, and the gross weight is about 4,309 kilograms. Let me tell you something interesting about the carrying capacity, because President William Ruto tonight told us that 10 died and 2 survived. That means there were 12. One less, there were two captains in that aircraft. So the carrying capacity, because this aircraft can be repurposed to carry uh, goods or to carry supplies because it's used also as a rescue chopper. So if it's repurposed to have individuals and passengers sitting, it's about 13 people that can fit in that aircraft. So anything to anyone or any doubt about the load on that air aircraft is totally done away by that capacity of 13 and a weight of 4,309 kilograms. It's an American aircraft. Let's take a look at other details also emerging this evening about this accident. Uh, we take a look now at, uh, uh, let's have the other slide. All right, that's about the aircraft. I'll be coming back to tell you exactly who General Francis Omondi has succeeded. Remember, he's the fourth CDF in the new constitution, or the 2010 constitution. It's been, it's been about uh, 11, it's been about... Uh, 12 years now, but I'll be telling you exactly how it began after 2010 constitution to the, 20, uh, to the year 2024 and who exactly has served as the CDF. But for now, let me take you back to Ashley. All right, let's move on.